Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is uh, Brother Nekan Francis. I'm living at number 13, Anatamere Street, Satellite Town. I joined Chosen Fully in 2011. I thank God for making me and my family a Chosen. Thank you, Father. I want to thank God for granting me a successful journey to the East and back safely. Thank you, Father. When I want to travel, I came here and presented the matter to the God of Chosen, and even my brand pastor also prayed about it. I went, I traveled successfully, I stayed in the village successfully without any issue. And I, as I was coming back yesterday, in fact, in the night, my in-law was even telling me that I was supposed to book because there's a particular transport company I wanted to use. He said, I was supposed to book it the following day that uh, people always rush for it. But I know whom I am. I tell him that even if there is no chance, God of Jesus will create chance for me. And when I went to, when I went to the park to pay the amount, in, when the people were paying, the manager came and said, there is no more chance that people should find their way, that they only send one bus to that station. I said, sure. But I had confidence in the prayer that God of choosing answered prayer. Because I prayed that night that God create chance for me. So people started rushing to another bus, started rushing. I wanted to go, but I just turned by. Somebody was dragging my attention. Before you know it, they had to drop somebody. And the manager rushed to me, said, Choosing, come and pay your transport. So, Clap your hands on to God of choosing. I said, this God of choosing is faithful. If you depend on him, he will always take care of your needs. Yes. I say, my name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. My second testimony, I want to thank God for the life of my mother. My mother had been sick for some months now. She had been sick. But that was even one of the reasons why I traveled. When I reached the village, I saw the condition. She could not recognize me. She could not stand up. She could not make use of her body. They have to carry her to bath, to urinate, to go to the toilet. They have to carry her to bath her. So when I see the condition, I started praying. I presented the matter to the God of choosing. And I passed a decree that before I leave the village, she must use, make use of her leg. So even last Thursday, I was able to connect it through my Android phone when our Joe was praying a deliverance uh, cases. I put it on her bed, and then I was answering a man. To the glory of God, before I came back, day before yesterday, and even yesterday, she started making use of her leg. Thank you, Father. My third testimony is about my in-law. My in-law worked with a particular company and he had a court case. So they started uh, the court case every day they, they postponed it. No, you cannot, you cannot, individual cannot have uh, money to fight a company. So every day they postponed it. They started going to their churches to pray, 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 pray. I give them chance to do that. When I discovered that the matter had lingered on, I now went to him and talked to him. That you come to choose him. Come and present the matter to the Lord Chosen. That is, this is where the cases of the whole world is being decided. <clears throat> come and present it. Come and ask for mercy. I don't want to know whether you are right or wrong, but ask God for mercy. That is what should be your prayer. That God should show you mercy. To the glory of God, last week, the case was awarded in his favor. Thank you, Father. For all these things that the God of choosing has done for me, 
I say, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our Jew and the entire chosen worldwide and my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. That you are in law, did he let her come to choose him? Uh, yes, he has been coming, okay. for that, and I've told him to become a chosen. So, has, he so has as he came to choose him, God of choosing awarded him the case. Yes. I want us to clap our hands unto God of choosing. The last testifier for this morning, for today. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The God of choosing is so good. He's so good. My name is John Patience. I joined this ministry in the year 2012. I worship at a Aja Legion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank this God of choosing for being faithful to me and my family. Thank you, Father. He has been a father God to us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I, I traveled last month, but before I traveled, I, I talked to God of choosing. I asked God of choosing that the first, when I traveled before this one, that when I was coming, I had some attack. And I remember that God of choosing, he proved himself. Praise the Lord. So Hallelujah. when I want to travel this one, I asked God of choosing that he, if he did me go and come back safely, that I will come here and stand and testify before the children of God so that all the brethren, the, those that maybe their faith is shaken, that we know that God is choosing is always with us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God of choosing, he did it marvelously. Praise mm. the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. When I was going, I was somehow afraid before I made the vow because of the 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 uh, uh, the uh, aircraft, the, the uh, crash they had that time. Some plane had that time. So me, I was afraid. I said, ah, I don't know what might happen. Before I called our branch pastor, I told him that uh, how I was feeling concerning the journey. He said, I should not worry. He will stand by me in praying. And he did so. And uh, I traveled. Then when I reached a Heathrow airport, the devil entered. He don't want me to cross again. Uh, they directed me to one custom woman. If you see this woman, very huge, only looking at him, you may be afraid. And that will enter the woman. Uh, once he wants to interview me, he was asking me, where is your name? I, I gave her my passport. He was demanding for another passport. I became angry. I said, I don't have another passport. He insisted, she insisted that I, I will bring another passport. I said, I don't have another passport. That's the only passport I have. Then he began to ask me questions unusual. I say, God of choosing in my heart, the hour has come to, for you to prove yourself. And God of choosing, as soon as I said this thing, God of choosing, make him to ask me one question that leads many questions that I, will, I, I answered her sharp, sharp. And she, she said, okay, your children are in Nigeria. I say, yes. So say, okay. Oh, yeah. He crossed me. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands out to God of choosing. Then I stayed there. I stayed there. God of choosing. He favored me. I stayed there healthy and sound. And everything went fine. Then on the day I was supposed to come back. That day we woke early. As we are going. The road we pass, the road from the house to the airport, everybody confirmed that they don't used to be hold up on that road. But there was serious hold up as if uh, it was in Nigeria. Then, but before that night, I dreamed one nonsense dream. 
that I was going somewhere and I, they blocked it with fence. I say, hi, how will I cross this fence? But in that dream, God gave me an, a, a, a narrow escape. I managed to pass. So when this uh, hold up was there and everybody was complaining, what, what is going on? Because they never seen this style before. Uh, the, the person that was carrying us is even a pastor, not in our church, in other church. He was telling my daughter, hey, your mother will soon become an illegal. She will not go again. She will not get again. She will stay with us and be illegal. I said, how can you imagine me be there in UK and become illegal? So I will not have free movement. I said, no. By 7 o'clock in the evening, I will call you that I'm already in the Nigeria. Don't worry. I'm, I have a God. I, because I told him that my God has already done it. Not that he will do it. I'm already in Nigeria. And we stayed there over two hours. I, I was having like 45 minutes to reach uh, Pedro, uh, reach uh, airport. And we, we, the, from that place we are standing, hold up, was it all? It will take us like 60 minutes to go there. I say, it is the only God can do this. And of a truth, this God of choosing, how he did it, I don't know. He entered into my daughter's mind. He asked us to get down from the car. We get down from the car. I mean, I don't want to trek. Then we, we trek from here to maybe that uh, iron at the back. And I don't want to trek it. Uh, because of my luggage, then she, the, my Lord, you, just, you carry everything. You, I, we started to run. We went and entered plane, having few minutes for our my flight to take off. I don't know how God did it again. We managed to reach the airport. Now to check in, another one had to come out, come up. I want to peace. No way. I know that place where you will go and pee is far. I don't know what to do. I cried out. Because if not, something I my mean, I cried out one person, God sent somebody to rescue me. Then I check in. This in again. We praise the Lord. That I check my luggage is in. Then as God carry me reach uh, our house. As we are, uh, God, I made a mistake. Uh, as God carry me reach our house, we stay. Then when I was coming, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. As they were unable to get me, they want to make me, cause me to make mistake in my testimony. That we never succeed in Jesus' name. So as I was coming. Begin to round up. Yes, I'm rounding up. As I was coming. Okay. As I, as I was coming, they, they wanted to stop me. But I asked God of choosing, help me. And he helped me. He helped me, and I reach home severely and sound. Praise the Lord. I want Lord. us to clap our hands praise. unto God or choose him. Pra praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My second testimony. Uh, that time, my daughter's paper supposed to expire. He's supposed to apply again before four days, before one week. And he di she did not do so. She forgot. But by the time she got uh, remember. Uh, uh, she, she started and this uh, if you apply it can take it do take some people one year eight months and, and uh, uh, more but she's, uh, she there is need that they will answer her quick then I told her that my God God of choosing who has already taken over that uh, uh, paper it's, uh, he, she applied for permanent uh, visa so she applied uh, that day. She applied her own paper. Suppose maybe past one, six months, and eight as others. But because I asked God of choosing that, I want this very fast instance. As he applied, the paper did not even reach uh, two weeks, a week plus. They answered her and gave her the resident per uh, permanent visa. Clap Praise your hands Lord. unto God of choosing now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But before then, our daddy, sometimes if I come, not sometimes, yet, uh, sometimes he used to say so. If I come, he will uh, uh, say, uh, some people receive a permanent uh, visa or visa this, uh, you know. Once he said permanent visa, I know that we need it. I claim it. I continue to claim this until that day it comes to pass. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I want to use this opportunity to advise any of us 
that are looking for visa, whether ordinary visa or permanent visa. Just take it easy. Once our pastor is maturing, continue to claim it because I am living testimony. This God of choosing will grant it unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our daddy in the Lord, heaven at last, and his family, my family, heaven at last. I cover my testimony with blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. I want us to appreciate God by clapping our hands unto him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Another thing I want to advise on is uh, sometimes or uh, anytime, as you may desire, if you want to ask God something like this, my, my sister and my brother, I will advise you to sow a seed. Make vow. Say, say something different that will move God. Since I've started this journey, anytime I enter into a problem in this journey, or the one, enemy wants to bring problem, you can see that you don't want to be given uh, this testimony. Because many things remain that I did not say. But I always say, God, I will come here, stand, and I will sow seed. I want us to continue to be sowing seed to challenge this good God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing.